Good morning. Once more, we're here on Norma Talks, and this time we're going to be talking about pendulums. And this comes from a request of a person wanting to know a lot more about pendulums. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about what I discovered, how it works, and I'm sure you all have, if you haven't had a pendulum or seen a pendulum, this is what they look like. This is my travel pendulum. It lives in a little pouch. And when I go away with my tarot card, I put it in tarot card box, little pouch that I have. It lives there all the time in its own house so that I always have one available. I'm staying with a friend in Edmonton. So actually, I come, it's coming from Edmonton. And I'm just going to hold hers up so that you can see that her pendulum is quite ornate. And actually, the end dropped off on time. But because it's so related to her, she has no problems with it. Most pendulums are like this one. It has a point on it. I use my car keys. I have often used a necklace, you know, like a pendant necklace and things. And basically, I can pretty well use anything that works. And it'll work, but it has a point for me. Um, but, it, but as I say, my car keys work wonderfully well when I'm out in a store and I want to check something. But we're going to talk a little bit about pendulums in the sense of how they're used. Well, one of the things is, basically, they answer one of two things, yes or no. Very simple. So if you want to know something, yes, it is this, or no, it is that. So having to know what the question is and what to ask is very, very important. Otherwise, the pendulum can get confused, and so can you. Short sentences, I find. This is what I want to do, and this is what I want. Now, over the years, um, people have come to me and asked, you know, I want to know how to use a pendulum. And what they've found is they can't make it work. It just wasn't, doesn't make it work. Because, and I'm going to put my hand up to my head, you think. When you are asking a pendulum a question, you've got to get your consciousness and your thought patterns right out of there. And so if you have control issues, want to be in control, want it to look or be a certain way, that is not going to work. So it is really important to, um, first of all, if you don't know that you're a controller and you can't make a, pen a pendulum work, that's a really good sign there's an issue because you mentally want to make it work. You really want to have it come on. So that's the first thing to figure out. Now, when you first go, what I found worked really well, and again, I'm going to demonstrate this, and I've got a watch off. I can, actually, I'll take my watch off because at this moment because it will make that a little easier, is this. You take your pendulum over, and you, I'm turning my, showing my wrist on this side here, and you can hold it over that part of your wrist, and ask, like, um, is, my name, is my name Norma? And it immediately goes to my yes. Is my name Mary? It'll go to no, because it's not my name. And I'm not controlling that. It does that. But when you're first learning, I find it's a really good place right here to, to utilize it, because there's a lot of energy right there, magnetic energy. In fact, I don't know if you ever played this when you were young with a needle to figure out how many kids you were going to have, if there were going to be girls or boys. We did that when I was a kid with a needle over this part of the arm. Actually, it's how when I first realized, oh, that's a good place to have that, is, is where we used to do that. And, uh, you know, oh, you're going to, I remember predicting twins one time with that because there was no gap. It went boy and then it went girl. And I went, I think you're going to have twins. Oh, no, 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 no twins in our family. Guess what? Boy and a girl. <laughs> so, it, and, yeah, it's interesting. But anyway, that's how you can start off. And it does take practice to be able to disassociate so you don't have, like, what would you say? That it has to be this way, it has to be that way, it has to look at whatever. Now, the, the letting it go part is just practice. And not making it, it has to answer, because it will answer. So what do you use it for? I, I'll tell you what I use it for. I first began using pendulums mostly within my ghost busting work. I talk about it in my book, The Ghost I Took Home. Because uh, at one time I used to do a lot of going into places. So I take my pendulum and I would just cruise the, let's say, I, an example is one time I went into a, um, an apartment. And so I just walked around the apartment and my pendulum would show me where vortex. Now vortexes are all over the world and they're every any time two lines of energy cross. Vortexes are where 
ghost feed because the energy is more there than when I say is that they need energy because ghosts are, are in between worlds, right? Then they haven't made a transition properly. So that they still have to get energy, they still have to live, they still have to have things happening. So what you do is to figure out that first of all, do they have vortexes? I have actually twice told people they should move because the vortex is so big. Um, the, the vortex is so big that it makes it not to work too well. And it's just showing here that there is, um, I may have um, some issue here. Recording, but we'll carry on because I'm doing it audio anyway. Now, the other thing too with go with energy, you can find out, um, you can even ask where is something and you can go to a place or to a direction of where you're going or where you're coming or what's happening. And um, I find very, I don't do this very often, but I'll ask where and the, it, the, the pendulum because it's still running and it swings and leads me into a direction I need to go in. Mind you, that is not how it goes. Plus, I then usually sit down and I talk to the ghosts that are there. And um, I was to, that was when I first actually began to discover how to transform. Um, do I used to do therapy on them so they could go into the light. So that was when I first really began to understand how I could, how we as in in this life can clear where we're stuck. So I have some very interesting stories in my ghost book about that. Now the other thing I use it for is the chakra system, which we talked about the other day, a couple of weeks ago, but the chakra system, if you run the chakras down, it'll tell you if they work well, like the evenly, or if they're out, or if they're, it'll do, they'll do swing certain ways. And it does give you a good idea of what's happening with the chakra system. And so there's another way that you can use that. And so everything's starting today. Now I've got a phone call coming in, which I'm gonna have to just go like that. So <laughs> the world is coming to Edmonton, that's what it is. Um, now, so energy, you can de definitely find that. Some people who have really come very good and they lose something, actually I was kidding myself because I misplaced my watch. I had been doing a wedding and I came home very hot and sweaty because it was a hot, sweaty day and I took my watch off and then I couldn't find my watch. And I kept thinking, well, I know I came home I met, and I thought for sure I took my watch off after I got home. Well. A month and a half has gone by, and I'm looking around in my purse, and you know, purses can fall down. And I went, There's my watch. So, just a second here. I've got to cut all this noise off. There we go. <laughs> the work don't usually happen. No one comes to me hardly, except occasionally. Now, so, okay. So, pen, but I didn't think to use the pendulum to look where the watch is. I figured it would show up one day, and it did. In my purse, down way right down low. So I now got to watch again. I use pendulums mostly in my transformation work because what I do with my transformation work, we decide what we want, and then I've got to find what the blocks are. So I have a um, things that we look at: different levels, chakras, male, female, many other things that I'll be talking about as these weeks go by. And with my pendulum, I'll go over and it'll tell me where the blocks are and then mark it on my sheet. So then I can go back to that and clear it, do the work I've got to do for each thing that it's set. Now, when I'm completed, I then go back and check everything. The odd time, <coughs> excuse me, it is showing me that I haven't got, I'm, I've missed something. So and that's why I found it to be a great resource because when I'm completed, I can go look Excuse me again, I'm going to have a drink of water here. <coughs> I can go back and I can check to make sure it's all done, that what I've gone about to do. So that's the wonder of the, of the different town. For me, what the, the pendulum is very, very, very a large part of that work because it's my checker. It, it tells me where I got to go. It checks that I did it appropriately and completely and properly. Uh, and so to me, it's important. Let me tell you a couple of stories. I was um, working one time in North Vancouver and uh, in a mall reading, and this gentleman came up and had a reading with me. <coughs> Excuse me, and started talking to me about pendulums. In fact, he actually brought me a book back on the next day on pendulums. And he was telling me how he put a map of BC out and he asked, where he should go to buy a house, which would be the best place to buy a house. So he takes his pendulum and he lets them know, this is where the pendulum may not go 
yes or no, but will lead like a back and forth. So I, maybe I, in the beginning I said that those two things that said yes or no, but it also leaked. And, it, and anyway, to make a long story short, he went off, showed over BC map, and it went right to Summerland. He said it was right on Summerland, it just stopped right over Summerland. So he went to Summerland and he ended up buying over time several houses at Summerland. And he just loved it there and he enjoyed it there. So, and he had used it a lot like that. Um, I have known stories of people using it to find where they should need to go and dig for gold or different other minerals. So it depends again, how you want to utilize it, how you want to do it, how you want to work it. And I'll tell you the one thing, if you really want a pendulum, go find one that you really like. Go buy one that you resonate with. Uh, recently, my granddaughter, when they came to visit this summer, wanted to know about pendulums. And um, I just moved and I was looking everywhere to see because I have several pendulums. And I knew one I thought would work well with her. Anyway, she came back later in the summer and I was able to give her this um, lovely little pendulum that she was very happy for. But there's some magnificent ones out there. One I use mostly now, I don't have with me, um, but it's a, it's, it's a brass one. And I really, I really, really like that in the work. I've used many different kinds at different times. But my travel one, I travel with because you can't, it doesn't break. <laughs> it's very strong. So it's not going to break. I've broken a couple of them in traveling. So that's why it's my travel companion. But basically, it's like find, go to the um, metaphysical store. They always have them hanging there. Look for one. And you can pick, you know, they usually will let you hold it. And you can ask and see if you resonate with it. See if it will work for you. Some I'm lucky. I usually pick it. doesn't matter what pendulum I can pick it up and it'll work for me. But in the beginning, you know, if we're talking about beginning, to find one that you like and that you feel responds to you, that you have a connection. So there's that. Uh, the other element I would do is practice. Just practice. Asking questions. Again, me looking at are you look asking for a yes, no question? Are you making it not don't make it too long, make it fairly short, make it fairly is is this what I want? Like for me, and when I'm doing my front transformation sessions, because that's when I really use it, is I we find what what it is we're gonna clear, and then I go and I ask. Um, and are there any level, like I will start with the levels, which is where I usually start. Is there any levels here that, that need clearing relation to da, da 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 And it will say yes or no, right there, bang. So I don't have to waste a lot of time checking things. So then we go to the next one. Or it may say yes, and all of a sudden I'm picking all of them off. So that's, I say, practice. So find what it, what it is that you want. There are some very good books out. I actually... Um, had a book that I, I, a girl came to me and said, I really want to know how to use pendulums. And I gave her my one and only book I had remaining. And she, every time I see her, she thanks me for it because she uses it all the time for everything. Oh, the one thing I forgot was food. Um, I, I, one time I was in New Zealand and I was at that time checking the, the value of food. So we went into the store and we were looking at cookies and I, I took my car keys because I use my car keys a lot when I'm out and about, right? Vitamins, the power of vitamins that'll go around and tell you how, if, they, if the vitamins are powerful or not. Do that a lot because often people sell you these bottles of vitamins and if you do that, you'll find that they're not that powerful. They're not, they don't have that much, like they say they have all this oomph in them, but they don't. So anyway, I had these cookies. There were some chocolate cookies, chocolate centers and some pink centers of, of just plain vanilla type cookies and I said to my sister she used to call me a witch which I'm not but <laughs> I held up I held the my car keys over the chocolate centered ones and it showed it had a little bit of power I picked one nothing just straight down not wasn't moving at all she said oh we'll take the chocolate ones <laughs> of course I love chocolate but anyway um it's but it's true but I do check vitamins in check, checking medicines all sorts of things to make sure that it has a value because people often will say to me, and this happened not that long, a couple of years ago, a friend of mine said, oh, I, you know, my, someone she's following said, oh, to take these vitamins, they're really, really good. And I did not want to, but so anyway, I, I, I took her bottle. I wasn't going to order them, just that. And I, so I checked to see if these vitamins were powerful or not. And guess what? They weren't very powerful at all. You probably need to take the whole bottle compared to some other things. But, you know, the first thing is, 
promoting these vitamins. So, and so I went, yeah, I'm, I won't be taking them, but I know that you are, but that's good. But I'm not going to be taking them. So it's like really the pendulum. So some people they won't do anything without a pendulum. Well, I, that's not me because I believe that we need to look inside ourselves and know. But it is handy. It is handy finding those objects. I use that. I use them often, as I said, for vortexes, for um, chakras and other energy centers where where things are blocked. Uh, it's about what you want to use it for. And remember, you can always ask what, how many children you're going to have and what sex they are. That's that's been, that was the old wives. That's what they did. Hang around and figure out all that stuff. So enjoy. I don't really have anything else I want to say about um, pendulums. I, I, I do use it. I have them. They travel with me. Um, my car keys travel with me. So I have one with me wherever I go. And it's just of knowing that, yes, you can have this. This is a wonderful tool that you can use. So I see Kat. Catherine would have like a question. Can you, so you can unmute yourself and tell me your question. No answer, if I can. I'm just wondering where the, um, what energy is, where is the information coming from? Like what is the, the pendulum tapping into divine mind? Is it coming from our higher self? Where would you say that's coming from? I don't really, I can't answer that completely. I'm looking at my friend over here. Did you hear that question? Do you know that? I don't know. I think it's a combination. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's why some people can't make it work. If it was just divine energy or universal energy, it would work. It seems to be related to the person. But we're all connected to that energy as beings. So I, that my, my sense is it's a, a self is what has it work. That's why some of us can work it really well. And others can't because we're not we're not we're able to let go and trust. And so it's probably a trust issue. Because I was wondering about the the vitamin part or the food part. Would it be your your pendulum acting on your behalf, telling you those vitamins are not for you? They could be powerful for someone else, but maybe not for you or. Is well, it? that's true. It could be that. But when I'm checking the power, it's not about me. I'm just checking the power that contains in the... Like, you can go into a, a health food store when you know that your pendulum works for you. And you can go down a series, let's say, vitamin B, we'll say. And you could... You will find, don't take that one, take uh, this one. And, and okay. you could say, oh, it's related to me or related... I haven't found that. I have not thought of that I, I, at all, to be honest. But, tr but truthfully, I really think that I've had other people, I've done this in classes where I put out an array of vitamins and different other things and foods and have them test, test it. And, and they seem to run pretty, it doesn't matter who does it, it seems to say the pretty well the same thing. This one doesn't okay. have as much power in it as this one does. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I think it's our energy that is connected because it, the more you connect to that inner knowingness, the more you're willing to let go and not get hung up on whatever's happening. Right? Great. Thank you. You're Can welcome. I ask something kind of similar to Catherine's? I was just curious. Um, if I was checking, let's say, like I'm just confused. If I was checking for my daughters, let's say a vitamin for my daughters, right. but I'm using the pendulum. You would think of your daughter. I would think, okay. Yeah, you would use so. your mental body at that point to think of your daughter because you know your daughter's energy. Uh, okay. Yeah. And, then, you know, for a lot of people, which I, I people use kinesiology, you know, t muscle testing. Muscle testing, if you're good at, if you can do that, you can probably use a pendulum really well. It's the same kind okay. of thing. But, yes, I would say just think of your daughter. If your daughter's there, you can touch her like, a, you know, and use it that way. But basically, if you put it in your head, I think you'll get your answer. Because I mean, you know, I'm working for people miles away on the other side of the country doing my trans for other, actually on the other side of the planet often. Totally. And okay. my pendulum will tell me yes or no. So, I, you, you know, I was, yeah. does that answer that? Sorry. Yes, that answers that. <laughs> and I was just, I had one more question. If we, do you ever share a pendulum? Like if I was to get one, would I share it with, with my like with them if they wanted to use it or is that very i don't know i think that's a preferred personal preferred thing 
Um, I don't have other people coming around using my pendulums, but I, um, I don't know. I think that's person. That's your personal choice. Okay. I think a lot of people that when you when you build the idea of why I say practice is because you're building up a relationship, right? And as you build up a relationship then your energy is in there as, as strong as yours. So if somebody else uses that, then it can come back. It's still, it's, yours is still the dominant energy. True. It's okay. a vibration for sure. Okay. And then would you, if you do a treatment like with that pendulum, like if I was to use my pendulum and I'm, I have a, I'm doing a chakra balancing. Yes. Do, do you clear the pendulum no, after? I don't personally. No. Okay. It's just okay. my tool, like you don't do that with a fork. You might wash the fork. That's exactly. Not, that's not a good well. analogy. <laughs> but it's kind of like, <laughs> I think again, I think there's a big mythology out there about how, how you know if something needs clearing. You know if it, this is like, that didn't feel very well, do something about that. Again, that's totally. listening to yourself. That was my follow-up question too, was mm -hmm. not similar. Um, when you buy it in the store, you know, a lot of people have touched it or it's been mm -hmm. hanging around. Would you clear it before you started using it? Same idea? You can always wash it or put it in salt if you want. But, you know, the thing is, it's intention. It's like, you know, when, you know, you take something and you ha have it. it. Most of them, uh, mind you, mine's a metal one. I mean, metal, we don't really look at as being a conduit of energy, but it's magnificent. Yeah, I think it's like really is just about how you want to, like you can get high again. Look, it, we immediately start thinking about needing protection, that it's not going to work. And of course, um, uh, people who know me know that's not a topic that I go into because the more you are fearful, the more you will attract things to be fearful of. So it's really important as far as I'm concerned that you you use it. I, I had I bought pendulums. In fact, I bought one recently uh, because I, I sort of left some things. I couldn't actually. I had misplaced them. That's all. I put them. I put them somewhere in my car, and I couldn't remember where I put them for a moment. And so I needed them. I thought I left them at home, and um, I just didn't look in the right place. Anyway, I bought a whole lot. Bought a new pendulum, a new whatever, and um, I didn't even think of that. I just took it and went, "Yeah, this will work." I I, I don't. Take, well, I don't take on other people's energy too much anyway. And if I do, I know what to do about it. So I'm not really hindered by that. You don't understand? Hmm. Anything else? Any other questions, gals? Thank you. I thank you for the questions. That's great because there's things I don't think about. Okay, we're good. I want to thank you. We'll be back next Wednesday. I'll be back home. I'm, I'm coming in on a late flight and then I'm up before 10 a.m. That'll be interesting. I, I haven't figured out what we're going to talk on. If you have anything else, there's a couple of other questions I've been asked. Um, I Jessica sent me some things about past lives. And I know I answered that a lot in a previous one that I believe is up on the YouTube. But in the meantime, um, be happy, enjoy, have a great time, enjoy your life, and all those other things. We'll see you next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you.